Yeah, it's my lights on, as you can see. Yeah, we're doing it in black and white again. Because I said, like, uh, the October 25th, 26th, and 27th episodes would all be in black and white, too. You know it. You guessed it. Embrace the Halloween events main feature. Which was the black and white. So let's just go after. Of course. As always. Oh, they're going. They're going out there. All right, let's do something. So, uh, here's the thing. I was going to base today's episode, or just this episode in general, off of, um, well, the um, current items that are available in the Halloween event. However, I realize we have an item coming out by the time the next episode comes out on the 27th. So why not I just wait till that next item comes out for me to showcase a ton of items. And the next item after yesterday's is right here that will be unlocked literally on October 27th. So yeah, I'll make the episode where I showcase a, the current items unlocked right now in the Halloween event. Of course, it will be in black and white since I said these three episodes would be. Uh... But I will show you them again in color on Friday the 29th. Anyway, here's our project from the last episode. Pretty cool. Uh, what are we doing today, though, you're probably all wondering. Well, that I have no clue. Yes, I do gotta get the dodgeball back out uh, there. Uh... Yeah, I did not think this through. I uh, was originally thinking of what you just heard me say, but... Uh, I have no clue. It is currently 6... No, sorry. Um, 5.59 p.m. Well, technically, it is about to be 6 p.m. anyway, so I guess that would have made sense, too. So, yeah, 5.59 p.m. It's almost going to be evening. Can you believe that already? Can you guys believe that already? Oh yeah, I got a bit muddy over here again just because there was some rain coming. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have no clue what to do in this episode. Why do I never have any unique ideas? You know, let's go back here. Maybe I might find something useful back here. Maybe I might. Find something useful back here. Well, besides the dodgeball, obviously. Ah, uh, is there anything interesting? Literally, I need to think of ideas before filming. Thankfully, again, the next one I have all planned out, which is all the items available currently. So that one, I already know what to do from the start. You know what? I haven't really done this in a long time, so... Maybe I should just take advantage of it and do the uh, soccer ball. Whoa! Okay, that knocked down the uh, pumpkin lights a bit, but who cares? I can fix that after. All right. So you know what? We're gonna do the soccer ball in black and white. Okay, finally. Thought of something interesting. Hopefully. Oh, boy. Yeah, I finally thought of something interesting. Let's hope I did, because... I have done the soccer ball in black and white before. I don't know if I just did it all by itself. Oh, yeah. that These might have fallen off the project, those. The pumpkin and skeleton things. Those might have just fall, fall off the project. Oh, and there's the little pumpkin things. Alright, let's do this. So... All right, yeah, we also got to be careful of the mud because that's, uh, yep. Yeah, we already messed up. Don't worry, I can wash this off after we're done anyway. 
Okay, let me make this more interesting. Yo! Did you all see where that went? That was nuts. Literally. Did you all see where that went? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, there it is. Okay, I was trying to look for it. Oh, so that's where that brick went. The one for the, uh, hole. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, finally. Finally, I got it out of there. Could have paused that section, but oh well. Could have paused that segment of the video, but oh well. All right, let's keep going. I know I keep using the soccer ball in a majority of episodes in the last few years, but it's still fun. Okay, that's knocked over a bit, the uh, the danger sign, but that's fine, because I can just fix that. So, okay, this is knocked down a bit. Okay, so some of the Halloween event is actually falling apart, but that's fine. That is generally fine. Because I can just fix it all later, which that won't even take long at all. So, hold on. Yeah, it's like 6.03. My tablet's like 24%. I'm going to have to charge it after this. Yeah, there's the fan on in there. I know nowadays there's normally not that many black and white episodes. That's because pretty much throughout the year there's like no reason to. But for this event, however, there is particularly a reason. You know what? I'll go ahead and fix this while we're at it. There we go. That is fixed. Uh, yep, let's go ahead... And you know what? Alongside the soccer ball, I guess we could fix some of the Halloween event because um, it goes down actually exactly a week from today. So, yep, we are exactly a week. Um, we are a week and a half into the Halloween event. It ends a week from today on November 2nd. And the, the last Halloween event to end this year, it was originally going to be the backyard one. But now it's actually the Zola Zop 2 one. Yeah, did I mention we changed the end date to November 4th? Just because I thought of some really cool ideas for November for the lab. I'll explain them. So basically, uh, the Halloween event will be ending November 4th, as I just said. So basically what that means is um, Elemental Month is now going to be starting around a few days after that end. Actually, almost nearly a week after that ends. After the Halloween event ends. And I have great news for you. Um, you guys remember Operation Dimensions. The event that just never will begin. Seriously. I am proud to announce it's finally coming out in November. Towards right before Operation Zola's Up 2. Or just Operation Zola's Lab. It comes, it'll end like a week prior to... Operation Zola's Lab. So we'll get a week to prepare for that event. So basically, two operations in a row. That never happens, does it? Literally, two operations literally a week apart. Well, two weeks apart since we get that whole week off of the 28th through the 4th. But technically, it actually begins that week of December 4th, technically. So, yeah. Anyway, the point is... Um, Elemental Month, I think I finally made it clear that it will start November 9th and end the 21st. So it'll end the 21st and Operation Dimensions will begin that day. And then, basically, the, um... What else? Um, basically, instead of them going for a whole week, the um, cel element celebrations, they'll only go for like three days. 
So hey, at least we're covering most of, of the month. Just want to have a bit of time between uh, Operation Dementia and Operation Zola. Like at least six to seven days between them. So we have at least just enough time to prepare. So that's pretty cool. So that's a little fun thing that I wanted to bring up because why not? It's a really beautiful evening. If only this was in color, I would have shown you. But it doesn't actually look that interesting. So yeah, it doesn't actually look that interesting actually. I'm just fixing the danger sign. Okay, that works, I guess. Oh, right, we gotta fix this. Just put it back in the plug. There we go, even though that almost looks exactly the same. That's fine. But, uh... Yeah. Anyway, point is, not really much going on. Nice. All right, but really though, um, back to what I was saying, so the fire celebration will be November 9th, ending on the 12th. Then the water celebration will be from the 12th all the way ending in, on the 15th. And then the snow celebration will be the 15th through the 18th. And lastly but not least, the sky sky celebration will be from the 18th through the 21st. And then again on the 21st, elemental month will end. And the um, Operation Dimensions will begin. So basically, Elemental Month starts five days after the Halloween party ends. Which I know is not much downtime. We're going to make up for that after Operation Zola's Up. Although technically the Christmas event for Zola's Up 2 has already been confirmed for December 16th. So basically only five days of downtime between Operation Zola's Up and the Christmas event. So, uh, oh well. Oh, and by the way, I'll make sure um, after the Christmas event ends that we're going to have a lot of downtime. I mean, the New Year's event will start immediately after the Christmas event ends. So, yeah. But pretty much the whole lab technically will be normal during that time of the New Year's event since that only occurs on the roof of uh, Zola's Up 2. And uh, as for Zola's Up Free, we're going to continue Operation Galaxy, and then I think after that, I don't think we're going to do much, but I'll make sure to keep Zola's Up Free intact. I'll promise you that one. Oh, come on, come on! Sorry, I'm just trying to get the soccer ball back in here and rip! Again, I'll have to wash it off before putting it back up there, but... Uh, just wanted to tell you guys some news about, uh, you know... Zola's Up 2, and also the potential future of Zola's Up 3. So guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Um, on October 27th, where I showcase all the current Halloween items for the Halloween, um, Halloween event here in the backyard. It's going to be pretty awesome. And yeah, with that being said, goodbye! Whoa! I almost just tripped there. Don't know what that was for.